How's it going guys? We have a past level question for step one and step two for hematology, okay? Very similar question shows up in the NBME exams. I've made prior audio cubing questions addressing this concept. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. So a 74-year-old man, he has a four-month history of weakness and fatigue. Hemoglobin is 10 grams per deciliter, normal range 13 to 17.5 in males and non-menstruating women, 12 to 17.5 in menstruating women. Leukocytes 8,000, normal range 4 to 11,000. Platelets 200,000, normal range 150 to 450,000. A peripheral smear is shown. He is a volunteer at a rural nursing home. Question wants to know the most likely explanation for these findings. So we look at these RBCs here and you say, no idea what I'm fucking looking at. Okay, that's how most students are when they see this question. And I say, well, how would you describe these RBCs? And the student says, well, they comment on the size. You can't really judge size looking at a smear, okay? MCV, it's done by a different means. So if I were to say, how do you describe the smear though? The student says, well, I guess they're like a little bit pale. I'm like, exactly. So these are pale RBCs, okay? So let's just move to the answer choices here. Choice A, plastic anemia, wrong fucking answer. The reason you know it's wrong instantaneously is because if we have a plastic anemia as the answer, all three cell lines are going to be down in the question. They're going to give you low hemoglobin, which we have here, but they would also give you low leukocytes and low platelets. All three cell lines will be down, RBCs, WCs, and platelets. We clearly don't have that here. Okay, Plastic anemia could be caused by chemo or radiotherapy on US simile, as well as, of course, parvovirus B19. Okay, Those are the two most common causes I've observed. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, beta thalassemia, wrong answer. So beta thalassemia in a 74-year-old male as an initial diagnosis, very fucking unlikely, okay? There actually, truthfully, there is not enough information here necessarily if this were a younger patient to say that it's not necessarily thalassemia, okay? If we had a 28-year-old, we look at the smear, the RBCs look pale, but... We would need the serum iron and ferritin to know that this is thalassemia or not. Okay, so let me explain. On USMLE, if you get a question, generally younger patient who has a microcytic anemia and has normal iron and ferritin, that's going to be thalassemia. So for family medicine, if they give you a low MCV, low hemoglobin, the next best step is check serum iron and ferritin. Okay, if they're low, it's iron deficiency anemia. If they're normal, the next best step is do a hemoglobin electrophoresis for thalassemia. If it's beta thalassemia, you're going to see increased HbA2, alpha-2, delta-2, as well as HbF. If it's alpha thalassemia, two mutations, you're going to see no change on the hemoglobin electrophoresis. Now, beta thalassemia in an adult, it would be beta thalassemia minor. Okay, if it's major, it'd be a sick kid. So as I just fucking said, 74-year-old male with initial diagnosis of beta thalassemia, very fucking unlikely. The smear show is target cells. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, diverticulosis, is the correct answer. Okay, so you need to know, and this is very fucking important, that GI bleeding in elderly is one of the most common causes of anemia. Okay, so we think of the most common, the three most common causes. Number one, diverticular bleed. This is not diverticulitis. Okay. 50% of the U.S. population over the age of 60 has diverticula, as completely asymptomatic, okay? So diverticulosis just means diverticula, and sometimes they can bleed. So diverticular bleed, most common cause of bleeding per rectum in elderly. You obviously have to think of the number two cause, colorectal cancer, okay? It's your red flag. Number three, angiodysplasia, which is tortuosity of superficial vessels within the colon, and they can be friable and they can bleed. Okay, so this patient, obviously, you're going to do your iron studies, but then you're going to schedule a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy can be an answer on USMLE. Step one, for step two, for step one, they'll just have GI bleeding as the answer. Okay, that's the NBME question I'm making this similar to. They just have GI bleeding, elderly patient, diverticulosis, okay? Choice D, folate deficiency, wrong fucking answer. So, it's not to say, you. of course, you'd have high MCV, which you can't judge by the smear, but if USMLE wants folate or B, folate's B9, if they want folate or B12 deficiency and they're going to show you a smear, 
they're going to show you hyper-segmented neutrophils. Okay, they'll show you a, a, a neutrophil in the center, and you'll see that it'll have many lobes. Okay, neutrophils should have about three lobes, four lobes tops. You'll see it'll have like seven lobes. It'll be obvious. Okay, so they would do that. They're not going to show you a smear of folate or B12 deficiency without a hyper-segmented neutrophil there. Be very fucking audacious. But folate deficiency is extremely common in elderly. Okay, they'll tell you patients on a tea and toast diet. Some students associate with, associate that with vitamin C specifically. It's wrong. There's a question on the family med form, so they just say, "82-year-old woman has been has been on a tea and toast diet for the past six months since her husband passed away. She has a high MCV." They give you no other information. B9 deficiency is correct. B12 deficiency is wrong for that question. Okay, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, hepatitis C, wrong answer. So I just threw this in here as a distractor. I mean, worked at a, or work, volunteers at a rural nursing home, OMG, okay? I mean, somehow contact with people who do IV drugs, not sure, right? So you do want to consider a broad range of differentials, of course, uh, in patients who have unexplained fatigue, right? So, I mean, if this patient, you know, you have anemia, uh, hepatitis C, you could be thinking of things like anemia of chronic disease, of course, right? So a patient will have, uh, it can be a, a normo or a microcytic anemia. It can be either or. It's not only normocytic, okay? Plenty of 2CK questions give you microcytic anemia for anemia of chronic disease. You're going to have a decreased iron, but a normal ferritin, okay? So we said for thalassemia, you're going to have a microcytic anemia with a normal iron and ferritin. Anemia of chronic disease, you're going to have a normocytic or a microcytic anemia, either or. Iron is low, ferritin is normal. Some students will say, oh, ferritin can be increased. It's usually normal. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.